So have you ever heard the phrase, his style speaks for itself? Believe it or not, there are small differences that you can actually do to change your style dramatically and stand out and look way better and differently than you did before. And today, we're gonna talk about some of those things right after this. What's up, my brothers? And what's going on, new viewers? It's good to have you here. This is your boy, Trey Bryant, and I am back to bring you another men's fashion video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about part two of six ways to boost your style coming out of quarantine. Now, if you guys haven't seen the first part, click off and go watch that one and then come right back and watch this one as well. Now, last time we talked about some things that you could be doing to make your wardrobe better. In this one, we're gonna be talking about some lifestyle tips that you can do to boost your style and be way better than you were before. Now, before we start, if you aren't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And guys, make sure that you click that bell notification so you're notified about all the content as soon as I drop it. You can literally wear the smoothest, the freshest, and the most expensive outfit in the world but have you ever noticed that it might look like something's just missing like something could just be off about the outfit and it could be because you haven't added any accessories to your outfit one way that you can complete an outfit is by wearing a watch a watch is a great addition to your outfit because it shows some class and it completes it as well now I'm not saying go and get a big gaudy watch that's huge on your wrist get one that fits your wrist and that actually goes with your outfit. So let's say you're dressed up and you have on a lot of brown. Maybe you're wearing a suit. A great way to complete that outfit would be to get a brown strap watch, something like pilot watch or whatnot. Then maybe if you wanna flex a little bit in that outfit, get you a watch with a stainless steel bracelet. Nothing that's too flashy, but something that's uh, subtle with style. Now, this may sound like pretty basic information, but it's so important. You should be getting a haircut every two weeks or before you have any special event that's coming up. Now, I know most of you are like, bro, like I already know this, like why are you telling me that? But I know some of you guys be just thugging it sometimes and you decide not to get a haircut, just throw a do-rag on and you keep it pushing. Believe me, I know, because I do it too. What getting a haircut does for you is it streamlines your confidence level. You feel clean, you feel well-groomed, and it's noticed by many, especially women. This makes you rock your outfit even better all the way to the nines, you feel me? When you put your clothes on, you feel like just this confidence level that's untouchable. And it's also important to get a haircut before a big interview that you may have for a job or a new opportunity because overall, this is gonna make you feel amazing once you have it. You know what the first thing is that women look at besides your face? It's your shoes. And I'm not sure why, but I have heard that it's something that's very important. I would encourage you guys to make sure that you step out with your best, freshest, clean pair of kicks in your closet, you feel me? You wouldn't wanna get caught slipping, meeting the right one, and you ain't got on the right shoes. So let's say you don't have any shoes in particular that you feel comfortable with wearing. I would suggest an investing in five versatile pair of shoes that are gonna be great to add to your collection and that are virtually gonna be able to get you through any social or event or job situation. The first ones I would say are gonna be white sneakers. This can be Air Forces or they can be some regular ones as well. Then for the second one, they're gonna be some brown or taupe loafers. Then followed by Chelsea boots. I would suggest with going with black ones for your first pair. And then lastly, some Oxford brown shoes. You need these for business. Those five pair of shoes that I just gave you will give you a range to put on whatever you want and still look stylish and completed in your outfit. This will be great for an interview or even a date night that you may have too. You'll be able to do your thing with these options. I hope you guys got some good tips coming out of quarantine and even for the summertime as well. Make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. It's your boy Trey.